interesting thing about fashion, you develop a signature, you stick to it year after year, and eventually other people come around to your way of thinking. That seems to be what's happened to Stella McCartney with her quirky urban sportswear. I just stick to my thing, and I try not to go off the path for other people. She always has beautiful, feminine, sexy, but always classy uh, pieces that you know you can wear wear for all different types of occasions. It's, it's very wearable and um, very beautiful. That's why I love it. I think her accessories now are really great. The lack of fur and the lack of um, leather. It's a style statement on the runway. It's, you know, it's very old-fashioned. The whole leather bag is, like, so old-school. So we're teaching them to make non-leather bags. This is the thought that went through my head when I saw about the 19th canvas and presumably plastic trim bag. How much is that going to sell for? And why should plastic be cheaper than leather? Because actually maybe leather's now cheaper to produce. If anybody's going to make fur and leather obsolete, it's going to be Stella McCartney. Do you feel you have a signature piece? I have a couple, I think, of signature pieces. I think people think of me for tailoring, for a good pant, and now they're probably starting to think of me for a sweater. You know, a good what about story. an all-in-one? Maybe an all-in-one. It's the one-stop shopping appeal of a dress. Not necessarily the easiest thing to wear, but there is sort of a fun and youthful sort of attitude to it. The playfulness in her collections is a little bit kooky. I think she's hitting her stride. We're seeing lots of minimalism around and, um, and a tougher sensibility coming through. This is Stella's moment. I'm glad she didn't use the thin models. She's life-affirming. Yes, definitely. It was just so refreshing to see the girls look at their age and look healthy. <laughs> Looking at that collection, there's a lot of playfulness in that collection, but there's always that funny little twist of perversity. I'm perverse, what can I say? Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Oops, too late. I don't overthink it, so maybe I am really perverse. <laughs> oh my God, you've just opened up a deep issue. It's I'm a can of work. therapy now. <laughs> Please, when I tell that bitch, please, bring the copies in your teeth.